kids. It's me, Pastor Beth. Hi. I'm really excited to have church with you guys right now. We are in week three of our Hey God series, and we're talking all about prayer. I have a question for you guys. Is there anything that you can't talk to God about? What do you think? Like, can you talk to him about anything? What do you think? Anything? You know what? We can talk to God about anything. Anything, anything, anything. He wants to hear everything that we have to say. You know what? We go to and from on our busy days and we're at school and we're having fun and sometimes we're talking in our heads and sometimes we talk out loud. You know what? And we have funny things and sad things and grumpy things and angry things and happy things and funny things and all kinds of things. We can talk to God about anything. Sometimes I even like to tell him jokes, whatever it may be. He loves to hear about everything everything. What do you like to talk to God about? So this is week three and we're talking all about how we can talk to God about anything. In a book of the Bible called Matthew, we can read what Jesus said to a huge crowd that had gathered to hear him talk. And in Matthew 7, 7 through 9, we can see what he had to say about praying Jesus said, ask, and God will give to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will open for you. We can ask God for anything. Yes, anything. We can ask Him to protect our family. We can ask Him to help us make good grades. We can ask Him to keep our pet fish, Jimbo, alive while we're on vacation. We can even ask Him for a million cupcakes. And Jesus promised that when we ask, God will give to us. He may not give us exactly what we ask for if it's not the right time for us to have it or if it's not what's best for us, but He will give us exactly what we need. And did you hear Jesus say that we can seek and we will find? That means we've got to look for how God will answer us, like we are pirates looking for treasure. We can dig through God's Word like paleontologists searching for dinosaur bones as we search for answers to all our questions. And Jesus promised that when we do, we will find what we need. Then Jesus told everyone listening that we can knock and the door will be open for us. Why do we knock on a door? Because we hope someone will answer. Jesus promises that God will answer. He may not answer right away, but that doesn't mean he's not hearing us. We just have to keep knock, knock, knocking until he answers. The cool part is that we don't have to worry about bothering God because He loves when we come knocking. And we don't have to sneak around like a burglar trying to get something from Him either. We can just go right up to His door and knock by praying and talking to Him. And now a word from the jokester. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes me. Who are you? Knock, knock. Who's there? Impatient pirate. Impatient pirate. Knock, knock. Who's there? Tank. Tank who? You're welcome. So one day every year, I tell my kid yes to anything he asks. He always comes up with some fun things to ask me for. So let's see what he thinks of today. Morning, buddy. Hey, so today is officially Say Yes Day. So what do you want to do first? Can I play video games all morning? You sure can. All right, what's next? I think I really want to play baseball for a little while. Will you throw the ball with me, Dad? Let's do it. Hey, Dad, can I please go down the big hill on my scooter? 
please? You got it, dude. Hey, Dad? Hey. Can I have a whole carton of ice cream for dinner? Sure can. <laughs> Say yes day is the best day. Oh, no. I think I might be sick. You know, I love saying yes to my son. It brings me so much joy to see his face light up when he gets to do something that he wants. I always want to do good things for my son, but as you just saw, if I only ever say yes, it's not really good for him. There are some things that he wants to do, like ride his scooter down a super steep hill. It's just not what's best. So I have to say no, sometimes because I know some things that my son doesn't know. And the same is true of God, but even more so. Sometimes God will tell us yes, because he wants to see us full of joy. But sometimes God's gonna tell us no. And it's not because he doesn't love us, it's because he knows what's best for us. So now I better go make sure he doesn't need something for that belly ache. feel you know it all and you always will i trust in you with all that i've got doesn't even matter if i feel it or not you are greater than all i feel you know it all and you always will i trust in you with all that i've got doesn't even matter if i feel it or not god is greater Right after Jesus told the crowd to ask, seek, and knock, he said, do any of you have a son? The thing is, Jesus already knew that there were plenty of parents in the crowd, but he wanted them to think about all of the awesome things they would do for their kids if they could. Jesus told them, what would you do if your son asked for bread? 
would you give him a rock? Or if your son asked for a fish, would you give him a snake? Jesus said that even though they aren't perfect, they still know how to give good gifts to their children. Then he told them, so surely your heavenly father will give good things to those who ask him. So we can ask God for literally anything. We can read the prayers of people throughout the Bible and see that they prayed for all sorts of things. But the one thing they had in common is that each talked to God about things they cared about. Like Nehemiah, who asked God to help him talk to the king about something that was bothering him. Or Solomon, who prayed for wisdom. Moses even complained, and God still listened to him. And then there's Joshua, who prayed for the sun and moon to stand still in the sky. Oh, and Jesus prayed and thanked God for some bread and fish that he used to feed the crowd listening that day. See, we can pray about anything. People all over the world know that they can pray in any way. Yere, thank you that you may live faith. Marigi, anelengal sobe, anelengal sobe banjingal, anelengal banjen kashavi eklali. Dieu, merci pour ton amour envers moi. Rwan, mi dekal ke nigli dneva. Kami sama watashi wa ashite kudasatte, arigatou gozaimasu. Emitei diseni merci di kasu moe kanu sanomo. Tatanzavi ma tondo mingi muke na kufutula nange samu na luzulu yange na katikati ya kizingu ya munu nyonso. Pakai kakipaya ikei na ilumse. Zanewat prabu, amolai tar kanela. Boże, dziękuję, że mnie kochas. Ola, Deus, obrigado por mi armas. Baba Zapa, singi la mingi tenati njoni timo na ya finiti. Oh, mudi muaka, kia levora honda tarara. Oh, mudi muge leba kala le rato la kaho. Good, thank for the details, Kamei. Devane ni re ne ne sekre dinalo makana ndri. Kama chua bira yoko. Bao, ya bulela. Uze uba, uze wangitanda, kwa zuwa fiedela, kule shpunga tengu so. Hey God, thank you for loving me. Amen. I can talk to God about anything. Wow! Good gift, bad gift.
Question, what happens if two people ask for opposite things at the same time? Which one gets what they're asking for? If you pray for your soccer team to win the playoffs, but someone from the other team is praying for their team to win, you may wonder, who is walking away with the trophy? God is listening to both of you. God is able to do anything we ask of him, but it doesn't necessarily mean he will. Sometimes God is going to answer with a yes while other times he's going to answer with a no. You may even get a not right now from God every once in a while. We may not fully understand how God chooses his answers, but one thing we can know for sure is that he knows what is best for each one of us. And that's exactly what he's going to do. Oh, so that's how it works. All right, I've got to ask, what happens if I don't pray? When we pray, we grow closer in our friendship with God, and we get to see how awesome, how powerful, how loving, and how in control he is. So not praying means missing out on all of those things. In the Bible, Jesus gives us specific instructions to pray. So not praying is actually disobeying. Jesus knew praying is so important that's why he showed us how to do it. Talking to God may seem complicated, but it's actually pretty easy. We can talk to God just like we talk to a friend, and we can tell him anything. That's cool. Here with another word, I present to you the Jokester. Knock, knock. Wah. Wahoo. Wahoo? What are you so excited about? <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Little old lady. Little old lady who? Say what? I didn't know you could yodel. Little old lady. In case you missed it, here's what you need to know. I can talk to God about anything.
Hey